thesis on chivalry, the Vonia's blade work fundamentals. <sighs> so much to learn before the exam. How will I ever get through everything? Oh, honorary knight. Long time no see. Anything you need me to take care of? I don't. <sighs> I'm sorry to make you worry on my account. I've been busy preparing for my exam. Other than for work and training, I've barely left the library. The exam is drawing nearer and nearer, but there just seems to be an endless amount of material to review. <sighs> right. The Knights of Avonia's selection exam. Oh. Even though I've already worked for the Knights as a maid for some time, I still need to pass this exam to officially become a Knight. It's just that I've failed several times in the past. I still don't know if I can make it this time. Study, buddy. No, I... That won't be necessary. This is my exam, and I'm taking it to fulfill my dream. Any obstacles I face are mine to overcome. Plus, there is still some time to go before the exam arrives. Well, you're the honorary knight of Mondstadt. It won't do for me to take up so much of your time. But, on the day of the exam, if... If you happen to be free... Um, based on the night's schedule, I think it should be... Half a year from now. But it's just half a year! Don't you think that's quite soon? Even though there is still some time, if I don't make good use of it, it will disappear. I've planned my schedule carefully. If I sleep two hours less each day and finish my work one hour earlier, then as long as I spend all the time I save studying, I should just about be able to finish these books. Well, there's always coffee if I feel sleepy, and I have some candy on hand just in case I ever feel low on energy. No, it won't. I've made sure to allocate time for training, too. After all, combat is also assessed as part of the examination. Oh. Oh. Did I get too worked up all of a sudden? My vision seems a bit blurry. No. I still have training tomorrow. I must freshen up. Oh. I apologize for letting you see me in such bad shape. I'm okay now. But every time I think of the exam, I get so nervous. Only studying or training helps to relieve it a little. But in the end, I keep finding new ways in which I'm not prepared. And that makes me even more nervous. You mean a change of location? Hmm. Yes, staying in the Knight's headquarters and in the library all the time does tend to make me feel as if I always have to be studying. But where else could I go? The Cat's Tail? Or the Angel's Share? Or perhaps somewhere away from the city? Star Snatch Cliff or Windrise? I could even make some muffins, grab some napkins, and make a picnic out of it. Hmm. But would that just waste too much time? A trip? To Leoa? Oh, I couldn't possibly justify that. In the time it would take to get to Leoa and back, I could have finished several of my books. Hmm. You really think I shouldn't limit myself to Mondstadt? Maybe you're right. Mondstadt is symbolized by the wind. But my vision is a Geo one. Maybe visiting the nation built by the Geo Archon could help me learn something new. Hmm. Very well, then. If it's just a quick visit... Oh, I can't believe I've really come all the way to Liyue. Wow! The architecture here is so unique, and there are so many people around. But somehow, I feel like I'm constantly being watched. Oh, I am not a Knight of Favonius yet. You shouldn't make jokes like that in public. People may hear you and get the wrong idea. Huh. How strange. Back in Mondstadt, I never feel shy around strangers. But over here, I feel so tense. It's probably because I'm in a completely different environment. I don't know how I should act to make sure I don't make a fool of myself. And speaking of, I heard that it's customary to eat with chopsticks in Liyue. 
Back in Mondstadt, I have previously provided chopsticks to visitors from Liyue, but I've never used them myself. Oh, I hope I won't become a laughing stock. Huh? Oh, I... I was just thinking aloud. Don't worry about it. My time here in Liyue is precious. I should make good use of it to study. Hmm, true. If I offended the locals by not knowing their customs, I wouldn't have the chance to learn from them. Huh. Then, okay. Let's start by learning about the local cuisine. Do you have any suggestions? Okay. If it comes recommended by you, I'm excited to find out what kind of food it is. If it isn't the Traveler, what would you like to order today? Wanmin Restaurant will cook it just how you like it. Oh, is this a new customer you brought with you? Based on Madam's attire, it would appear that even a Knight of Favonius will travel all the way to Liyue just to try Wanmin Restaurant's cooking. Knight of Favonius? Oh, I I'm not... <laughs> I'm just joking, of course. You must be in Liyue on official business. But anyway, while you're here in Liyue, I can confidently say that you won't regret stopping by Wanmin Restaurant to try our tasty dishes. That... that's not what I meant. Not what you meant? Oh, I see. Uh, I suppose you must be looking for Liuli Pavilion or Sinue Kiosk. Huh. <sighs> Most first-time visitors have only heard of these two places. I just didn't expect the Knights of Favonius to be the same way. What? Well, what I meant was... I am not an official Knight of Favonius. I'm just a knight in training, currently serving as a maid. Goodness. They really distinguish between knights to that degree? Well, anyway, as long as you dine at Wanmin Restaurant, rest assured you will leave here a satisfied customer. Since this is your first time in Liyue, perhaps you're not used to chopsticks yet. If so, might I recommend the grilled tigerfish? Fresh, fragrant, and easy to eat. If I tone down the spice a little, <laughs> it should be perfect for the Mondstadt palate. Wanna try it? Um, I want to learn about the Liyue diet. Adjusting the dish to accommodate what I'm used to seems to defeat the purpose of coming here. Oh, you want to try something with more of a local flavor. Well, in that case, you've got to try our signature dish, Black Back Perch Stew. The only thing is, you can't really eat it without using chopsticks. And the level of spice is not for everyone. I pour oil into a hot pan, throw in a big handful of Jueyun chilies, and stir fry them to release the flavor. Then, I sprinkle in some powdered violet grass to enhance the spiciness. Phew! I can already feel the spiciness just by listening to your description. Will I be able to handle it? But if I give up so soon, how can I learn to overcome future obstacles? Hmm, it's just a harmless bit of chili pepper. I, I can take it. Chef Mao, I will go with your recommendation. <laughs> Great. Please have a seat. One black back perch stew coming right up. <coughs> oh, so spicy. I can't even hold my chopstick steadily. <coughs> oh, I'm... I'm fine. It's certainly very spicy, but once you get over that... Oh, it's quite delicious. What surprised me is how the freshness of the fish still shines through, despite how heavily seasoned the dish is. Hmm. The next time I entertain guests from Liyue, I wonder if I'll be able to prepare such delicious food for them. Really? Then let me bake some muffins for you when we get back. Wow, you've already finished? How do you feel? Even locals rarely finish the dish so quickly. Oh, it was very good. Thank you, Chef Mao. Ah, you're very welcome. Seeing customers satisfied is my greatest pleasure. But I must say, I really didn't expect you to drink the soup. It's so spicy that most people here in Liyue can't even handle it. The soup? We, we 
weren't supposed to drink it? Oh, um, yes. Let's. <sighs> Next time I eat in Liyue, I'll be sure to check how each dish is meant to be consumed first. Oh, that sounds like ironwork going on over there. Is it a blacksmith? From the kind of weapons made here, I should be able to learn something about the local combat style. Will you come with me to the blacksmith so I can take a look? Oh, great! It's almost like you're the host and I'm your guest. As a maid, I can't help but feel a little guilty. Liu's really got a lot going for it. Wow! Just from looking at these weapons, I can tell they have great power. This is the nation built by the Geo Archon, after all. Oh, I wonder how Favonia's blade work could be applied to these weapons, and what kind of modifications would be needed. Yes, and even though I'm just thinking through problems as I always do, I don't feel as nervous as I did when I was in Mondstadt. Hey! You over there! What are you doing? Huh? What's wrong, little boy? Huh? Who are you calling little boy? I'm a mighty warrior. I see you with your strange attire, acting all mysterious, loitering around the ironmongers. Yeah, you're up to no good. I, I'm not up to anything. Huh. You can't hide it from me. I see the way you look at those weapons. Same way I look at them, too. You must be planning to sneak over and steal a couple of blades when the man's not looking, huh? Well, I'm warning you. Quit while you're ahead. Stop before you do something you'll regret. Cause if you get caught, uh, that man is gonna yell at you. Yes, that's right. In any case, my weapon of choice is the greatsword. And I don't see any of those here. Greatsword, huh? Well, you got one thing right. The man refuses to show anyone his greatsword in the store, no matter how many times you beg him. <laughs> Trust me, I would know. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I still don't think I can trust you, unless... Unless you show me your greatsword and also your vision. Uh, that's not true. No greatsword can outshine the mighty Dugu Longsword. And one day, I'm going to get my Geovision. So, uh, I'm not jealous. Who said anything about being jealous? Huh. The cat is out of the bag. Um, all right then, if you insist. Um, please be careful with them. Don't hurt yourself. You, you're really going to let me have a look? Wow, you're so nice. Wow. That glow, it really is a geovision. And this sword is so heavy. Ugh, I can't hold it. Ugh, it's not fair. If only I were a bit bigger. Be patient, you'll get there. Besides, I'm sure your dream will come true one day. Uh, hmm. It's clear to me now. You bear a geovision. You wield a great sword. You're a nice person from Mondstadt. You must be a fabled knight of Favonius! Uh, huh? Huh. I must accept that the knights of Favonius of Mondstadt live up to their name. But I shall not concede defeat. As surely as the hills are green and the rivers flow into the sea, our paths will cross again. Wait, I... Oh, he's gone. I do hope there are no further misunderstandings today. Children in Leo have these dreams, too. I never would have thought. When I was little, the other Mondstadt kids and I always used to imagine what kinds of visions we would have when we grew up. I hope that someday, this boy's dreams will come true, too. <sighs> anyway, what's next? Should we visit Leo's harbor or take a short break? Yes. If we plan to explore further, let's take a short break first. Oh, you must be from Mondstadt. Looking at your outfit, you don't seem to be an ordinary civilian. In which case, surely 
you must be an illustrious knight of Favonius. Pardon my directness. My name is Iron Tong Tian, and I was hoping that you could help me out. Well, hold on. I'm really sorry. I am not yet an official knight, but just a maid of the Knights of Favonius. Uh, maid? Of the Knights? A maid knight? Oh, now that is genuinely intriguing. Miss, if you're willing to help me out, I have every confidence that you will provide me with infinitely more source material than any other knight could. As you can see, I have been a local storyteller here for a long time, and, well, my audience is starting to tire of hearing the same old stories over and over again. When I saw this young lady show up just now, I was quite awestruck by her, so much so that I was suddenly inspired by the idea of writing a new book, A Knight's Journey Through Liyue. However, inspiration is just the start. I still need some material to work with. Even the most ingenious storytellers don't just come up with stories out of thin air. I do occasionally hear anecdotes about the Knights of Favonius doing the rounds here in Liyue, but they're mostly unreliable rumors, with everyone telling a different story. Far better to find an actual knight and see for myself. But I... I am still not a knight yet. Ah, don't worry about all that. As the saying goes, the story should be inspired by life, but larger than life. As the storyteller, I can change a detail or two here and add some dramatic effect there, you know. Honorary Knight, I'm a little conflicted. What should I do? Although I should always lend a hand to anyone in need, it would be dishonest for me to pretend to be a real knight. <laughs> you understand me. Miss, rest assured that I will not put you in a difficult spot. All I'm asking you to do is to come with me to the countryside and show me some of your blade work. Let me see something new. I'll fill in all the other details, all within reason, of course. <laughs> well, okay then, if it's just providing some initial source material. I heard earlier from the Millilith that some hilly churls have been wreaking havoc in the countryside. Ooh, let's head over there. This looks to be the place. Ah, oh, but it seems our timing is off. The hilly churls are nowhere to be seen. Oh, if the hilly churls are not around, does that mean you can't get any source material? Not necessarily. Look at all the things they left here. Miss, why don't you use your great sword to clean the place up? Cleaning up? Well, that shouldn't be too difficult. But the hilly churls could return at any moment. Mr. Tian? Please find a safe location from which to observe. Okay. The knight's meticulous mind attended to each and every detail of her duty with the utmost care and attention. <laughs> this is good. I can work with this very nightly. Oh, you're, you're taking notes already? Cleaning up a camp. I guess I do this kind of thing all the time. So it should be okay to include in your book. Wonderful! I'll call this one the Indomitable Sword of Favonius. Sensational! I will call that one the Impregnable Shield of Chivalry. 
Mmm, yes, it's coming to me now. With the prescience of a prophet, the knight foresaw the precise moment of the hilly churl's return and promptly warned the commoners to take cover. Now she stood alone as she drew her sword and strode forward to confront the enemy. Oh, this is all great material. Uh, it's just a pity that the only enemies are these hilly churls. Hmm, it needs a little more oomph. I've got it. Uh, would the two of you be able to give me some kind of mementos? Mementos? That's right, mementos. Though the story is a work of fiction, the more real it feels, the more engaging it will be. Some sort of battle trophy to display before the audience Ooh, would really seal the deal. Okay, um, so something like a hilly churl mask or an arrowhead? If it's all the same to you, uh, I was thinking more along the lines of, well, maybe a component from that ruin god. Yes, you've got it. You really understand where I'm coming from. I've heard that there's a very common component in ruin guards called the, uh, chaos device? I, I should write down my new ideas before I forget them. Um, just hand the chaos device to me once you've managed to obtain it. Oh, such mighty power, so battered and bruised. Mm. <laughs> I just need to embellish it a little further and this will be perfect. Embellish it? Even further? Hmm. Well, as long as I have been able to help you with your creative process... Of course you have. Okay, I know where I'm going with this story now. Uh, I need to get back and start writing. Oh, and if the two of you have any free time later, stop by Third Round Knockout and you can hear me tell my new story. Oh, I wonder how Mr. Tian's story will turn out in the end. For some reason, I have a bad feeling about it. Why don't we go back to Leoa Harbor and listen for ourselves? With a roar like thunder, iron clashed with iron. Then, four gigantic fists came pounding into the ground with a force beyond what could be put into words. So colossal was their weight, and so earth-shattering their impact. Such unthinkable power could easily cleave a stone peak right off the top of a mountain. Any ordinary human would either be torn to pieces in an instant, or at the very least, suffer indescribable injuries. But not so the knight from beyond the border. She did not flinch in the face of the flying iron fists, but sank instead into a low, fighting stance. And with one swift sweep of her sword, the clash of metal erupted once more as dust billowed all around. Moments later, there was a deep and dull thud as the dust dispersed to reveal Two pairs of iron claws lying lifeless on the ground. Such is the awesome power of the impregnable shield of chivalry, an esoteric martial technique practiced exclusively by the Knights of Mondstadt. The knight barely had time to catch her breath before a dark shadow leaped up before her into the sky, blotting out the sun and turning day into night. It was a ruin hunter. But she was no ordinary knight, and in her heart she declared, I have nothing to fear. With an almighty battle cry, she unleashed the indomitable sword of Favonius. Beams of golden light shone out in all directions. A gust of wind raced through the battlefield. Sparks flew and debris fell. One night against two ruin guards and a ruin hunter? <laughs> Surely that must be an exaggeration. Uh, I suppose these stories are supposed to be taken with a grain of salt. <gasps> Is this about me? What is he talking about? Oh, no, 
This won't do. I must ask him to rewrite the story. <laughs> Hard to believe? Then feast your eyes on this. This is solid proof of the Maid Knight's journey to Liyue. A fragment of a ruined god's armor, cut from its carcass by a blow of her blade in the midst of her death-defying battle. That is part of a Ruin Guard. A friend of a friend of a relative in the Millilith told me about these. Oh. Uh, it, oh, it's real, all right. Look at the cuts on it. Fresh from the battlefield. I, I must explain to Mr. Tien. Honesty, modesty. These are the virtues cherished by the knights. Hey, will you look at that? That girl over there looks uncannily similar to the knight from the story. Oh, I'd say more than just similar. She's the spitting image. Oh, oh, should we get an autograph? Oh, it's definitely her. The legendary Maid Knight. Uh, huh? Oh, okay. And so, the knight went west from Stone Gate with her sword in hand and scaled the mountains of a vast new land. A legend from the moment she set foot in the UN. Tales of the adventures of the Maid Knight would be talked about for hundreds of generations. Stay tuned for the next chapter.